3D animations are a great way to create eye-catching motion and visual effects. Animations grab and maintain the attentions of the viewers while enhancing the intended message. Recently animations have evolved into an effective way to present technical information, especially if the audience is non-technical. An animation can be used to bridge the gap between the technical community, its management, the general community, or even directly to a consumer. 3D via Composer easily creates animations from CAD models. This gives both engineers and technical communicators a way to create unique media for the presentation of ideas, as well as a means for expression of creativity, product and assembly, service and maintenance manuals, and can also make for a useful training aid. All this can be accomplished while working directly with engineering data to ensure animations are technically accurate while using the latest and greatest engineering data. All this can be done without having a CAD system. Create animations where the viewer assumes the role of the end user or an assembler and makes choices that determine the actions and the outcome of a procedure. Create visual aids directed to an audience through media. The information can be tailored to any relevant audience. Collaboratively create products for various media, video, the internet, and deliverables can include online help manual, user manuals, technical manuals, process and procedure manuals, instruction videos, training aids, as well as technical reports, plus much, much more. Let's see how we can use 3D via Composer to create these types of animations. Without having to know how to work a CAD system, we can access direct engineering data. This means that as we're working with 3D via Composer, any changes made on the engineering end will automatically be updated into our current project. So all I'm going to do here is grab the parts that I want to highlight, and I'm just going to pull them apart. Once I've got them pulled apart in the way that I want them, we can easily just create a view. And what I'm going to do is just take the end user through a series of steps that I want them to understand. And all we're doing here is creating views as we as we go along. Once we have the views compiled, all we need to do is drag and drop these views directly into our, our timeline. Drop, dragging and dropping them into the timeline will start to create the, the end user, the, the end 3D video. The timeline pane lets you create, edit, and play 3D animations. 3D via Composer uses keyframe based interface. You can create keys to capture properties and positions, and then 3D via Composer smoothly animates the transitions between keys. Keys allow you to specify a property for a given part. A part's position and color can both be animated in time this way. Move geometry in 3D space. You can move it along an axis or create an exploded view around a given point. Combining these techni techniques allows you to direct a video that communicates your final intent. So use 3D via Composer to create eye-catching motion and visual effects. Grab and, grab and maintain the viewer's attention with the intended message. Explore ways to present technical information to a non-technical community and use animations to bridge the gap between you and the end consumer.